packing cubes. Some people love them and some people just don't get them. If you fall into the second category, I was in your shoes and today I'm going to talk about why I changed my mind about packing cubes. You might be wondering if packing cubes are worth the money, how exactly you use them, and what to look for when you buy them. Today I'm going to share with you exactly how I use packing cubes to stay organized and pack for four kids and myself. Alright, let's do this! Welcome back to A Mom Explores. I'm Emily and I share tips for making travel easier and more attainable for the average mom. Today, as you might have guessed, our subject is packing cubes. I've grown to love them and I never go on a trip without them. Whether I'm road tripping or flying, traveling by myself or with my kids, I feel lost without my packing cubes. So I'm gonna share with you why I really think they're worth it. The good news is that packing cubes are not really that expensive. You can find them easily on Amazon, Target, Walmart, wherever you do your shopping, you can find packing cubes for a very reasonable, affordable price to try them out. The other good thing is that there's tons of different ways you can use packing cubes to really get your money's worth if you decide to invest in some. First of all, let's talk about why you should use packing cubes. The first reason is because they provide tons of organization and as we all know, as parents traveling with little kids, organization is king. The more organized you are, the more smoothly your trip is going to go. They help provide organization by grouping like things together and a lot of them have a mesh outside so you can easily see what's inside and quickly locate what you're looking for. Reason number two that packing cubes are so important is because they help you maximize the space that you have. Um, this is really important to me because I'm often packing multiple people inside one suitcase and so I want to make the most of the space that I have. The third reason I like to use packing cubes is that they help add structure. They come in different shapes and sizes so you can stack them on top of each other, you can line them up um, like mini suitcases inside your bag. It helps so that you're just not stacking a bunch of stuff free floating around in one bag. Okay, so what should you look for in a packing cube? Number one, I would look for sturdy and durable material. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super sturdy. You can still buy the inexpensive ones, but just make sure it looks like it's not gonna tear after a few uses. Number two, I would say look for mesh somewhere on the packing cube so that you can easily see what's inside it. And number three, I would look for a variety of sizes and colors, but I would say the variety and sizes is more important than different colors. Um, Although having different colors does help differentiate if you're packing one color per child um, or per person, but having the different sizes is super important because it depends what you're packing on which packing cube you'll choose. I'll add one side note here. We have never used compression packing cubes, but if space is your main concern, if you're trying to fit as much as possible in your suitcase or backpack, I would say look for the compression packing cubes and I'll link some below. Okay, one of the biggest questions I had when I first started using packing cubes is like, what do I do with these things? Do I just start putting clothes in them and call it a day? And yeah, you can totally do that, but there are different ways you can organize with packing cubes to get the most out of them. So I'm gonna share those tips with you today. First of all, you can group like objects together. Um, for example, one way I've used packing cubes is if I know you know, we're taking a road trip and we're staying overnight in a hotel before getting out early the next day. I'll use one packing cube with everyone's pajamas for that night and one packing cube with everyone's outfits for the next day. So in that case, I would use bigger packing cubes, one for pajamas, one for outfits for the next day. Another example would be putting everyone's swimsuit in the same packing cube instead of packing each person's swimsuit in their own with their own clothes in separate packing cubes. Now there are several options for how to organize the packing cubes. You can pack by day. Um, so day one, I'll put all the kids clothes in for day one. And this is especially helpful if I'm doing matching type outfits, if I want to get a nice picture while we're on vacation. Um, or like I talked about, if you're in a road trip situation where each day, um, you're going to be in a different place it'll it would be helpful to pack by day in that situation the other way you can do it is packing by person 
and this is especially helpful if you are sharing multiple people in one suitcase and in this case I would highly suggest using a different color for each person. Okay finally let's talk about technique. How exactly do you put the clothes in the packing cube? Do you just stack them? Do you roll them? Or is this their special way to fold them so they fit just, just right? Well, this is different by person. I'm not going to tell you there's a right way and a wrong way to pack your suitcase. Do whatever works best for you. Um, and again, it'll depend on the situation. If you're trying to pack a lot, I would say definitely roll. You're, you're gonna be able to fit more clothes if you're rolling them. Let me show you a few ways that I might fold the clothes to put them in the packing cube, and then I'll walk you through the different sizes and what I like to use them for. As you can see, we have three different colors of packing cubes for our family, and each type of packing, each color of packing cube has three different sizes. So you've got the small packing cube, medium packing cubes, I'll compare that to the small for you, and then you've got the large packing cubes. I'll also add that I love these tiny packing cubes. I use them to organize um, things like my diaper bag, um, or I've used them in my carry-on bag on the airplane before. Um, otherwise, just throw them in your purse when you're not traveling, and I corral all my little items like uh, headphones, mints, uh, ponytail holders, uh, I have makeup wipes back there. Uh, yeah, really you could put anything in these tiny packing cubes and they really help you stay organized. Okay, and then this is not technically a packing cube, but I thought I would talk about it quickly because I love it so much. I got it for Christmas a few years ago and it's been a game changer. This is the eBags toiletry organizer got a hook to hang on the door, but look how thin it is. I mean, come on, that's amazing. Um, and there's actually a surprising amount of room in there. Like I can even fit a full dry shampoo in there, um, shampoo and conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste. I, even on um, some trips where I'm trying to pack really light, I've even fit all my makeup in this larger pocket over here, which has been amazing. Of the different sizes of packing cubes, I'd say our medium packing cubes get the most use um, because they're small enough that you can fit multiple medium packing cubes in a suitcase, but they're large enough that I can fit clothes in them. The small ones are great. Um, I put the kids' toothbrush and toothpaste in a pencil box and keep them in the small um, the smaller cube organizers, but this would also be great for things like underwear and socks. Or you could also use this for things like chargers, um, cables, plugs, anything else that you want to corral in a smaller space. Okay, now I'm going to take a medium sized packing cube and I'm going to show you exactly how I fold um, some clothes to fit in here. I'm going to use my, my son's, my three year old's uh, clothes because they're small and easy to fold. Um, so that will give you an idea of how much you can fit in a medium sized packing cube as well. folding method so my clothes end up looking like this and the reason for that is when we're opening a drawer for the kids and we're looking for an outfit for them you can easily see you can easily see each shirt as it's sitting in the drawer okay I thought I would just quickly show you how exactly I fold the Marie Kondo way it's pretty easy um, so you spread out you spread out the shirt and lay it flat and then I use the collar line as a guide for how far in I should fold. And then you take the sleeves and you fold them down flat. Do the same thing on the other side. I do not do it this perfectly when I'm doing laundry every week. Then you fold it in half and fold it in half again. And there you go. It should stand up flat like that. Um, I'll do the same thing with a t-shirt. Um, fold to here, fold to here. Thin, it'll look really thin and that's good. Fold it in half, fold it in half again. Let's take a pair of shorts, a pair of little boy shorts. Okay, I fold them in half. 
Um, I learned this when I worked at American Eagle a long time ago <laughs> when I was in high school. Um, if you need to, especially if it's an ad adult pair of shorts or pants, you might want to um, tuck in this part to make it flat. And then I always do it in thirds for shorts. So I fold it a little bit in and then I fold it again. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite methods to use when packing, is to do the Marie Kondo folding method, and then you just place them right inside the packing cube like it's a drawer. So we've got six short sleeve shirts here for a three-year-old, and then I've got three long sleeve shirts and a sweatshirt. And there's even a little more room where I can fit some shorts and pants in there, so I could either fill in on the sides there or what I could do is take out this bulky sweatshirt, fill in with pants and shorts, and then I could fold this flat right on top. And there we go. I've got one medium packing cube and I've got enough. I've got enough clothes in there for my three-year-old for about a week actually, um, even longer if you're doing laundry. We love the Marie Kondo folding method, but of course you can roll your clothes or you can just fold them normally. And I don't think I need to show that here because you probably do that already anyway. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a ton of methods you can use um, to fit a bunch of clothes in a packing cube. And then the nice thing is you can either stand it up with a handle on top, depending on the size of your suitcase, or you can lay them flat and stack them on top of each other in the suitcase as well. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. I love packing cubes. They make packing so much easier, so much more organized, and so much easier to find things once we get to our destination that I won't leave without them anymore. Even if I'm the only one going on the trip, it helps me stay organized. Um, whatever you can dream up, whatever works for your family, that's how you can organize and separate and um, group together items within packing cubes. Uh, like I said, different sizes are great. In the large packing cubes, I often put things like sweatshirts, sweaters, jeans, especially for adults. Um, these are great for that. Or like if we're going camping, I'll put all of our campfire sweatshirts in one. But yeah, get yourself a variety, try them out, play around with them, figure out what works best for your family. And I think you're really gonna love them. I've placed some links below to the packing cubes that we use and then I've also found some compression packing cubes with great reviews. Again, I haven't tested those yet. I hope to at some point, um, but if you're trying to maximize space, definitely go for the compression ones. I've also written a blog post that I will link below, so check that out. Oh, and I also have a video on organizing for a road trip. It has a lot of these same tips, um, but it has some different ones specific to a road trip as well if you're looking for that. Uh, that's in the box right up there. Happy packing, no matter where you're going, camping, RVing, on a plane, road trip, um, to your parents' house for the weekend, no matter what you're doing, um, hopefully you found these packing cube tips helpful. And if you liked this video, like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at a mom explores. I'm always on stories there, I love connecting. Um, so I hoped to connect with you, either here on YouTube or on Instagram. But until then, keep exploring.